hello or hello in German. Um, I'm John and welcome back to my channel. John from Texas loves Germany. I've been to Germany a few times and have experienced the wonderful culture there. I am a novice German beer drinker. I hope this video informs Americans about German beers and gives Germans a good laugh or appreciation at my reactions, maybe? I don't know. Depends on how they take it. I'll be tasting a few more German beers that I can find in Dallas. Now, this is not sponsored by anyone, and these are just my opinions of how they taste, but I will also be giving you the descriptions by publications uh, about what the beer is supposed to taste like. So, let's go ahead. I'll tell you the three beers I'm going to be showing. Bayern Stefana Corbinian. Hope I said that way. Next will be uh, the Weihen Stefana uh, Hefe Weisbier Dunkel. Do that one more time. Okay. And the third one, of course, is the uh, Weihen Stefana Crystal Weisbier Crystal Clear. So I don't know if you can see that. There we go. First beer, the Weihen Stefana Corbinian. Okay, like I've said before, I'm not the greatest pourer. But I do want to try to get ahead on it this time. Apparently I did not last time. There we go, that's not too bad. And as you can tell, it's got a nice frothy head to it and uh, very, very dark. It's got a good smell to it. Slightly caramel smell. No, that's not for you. Sorry, my little cat is uh, now wanting my attention. So, good smell. Oh yeah. It reminds me of a of a Bach beer we have here called Shiner Bach, and uh, but this is more mild or no smooth. There we go. This is more smooth. It has a very good um, mouth feel, and it's uh, kind of crisp. And it, it, it has a real nice, deep, um, almost uh, more of a car caramelized nutty flavor, kind of in between. You don't really taste it as being nutty, but more like it's been roasted. Ah, that's good. All right, now what do they have to say? They say this is a full-bodied, dark uh, doppelbock with light brown foam. We saw that. Uh, it has a balance of fruity hints of plums and figs. I did not taste that. Uh, a dark malt aroma. That's what it was. More of a malt aroma. That's what I was tasting. Uh, reminiscent of toffee, nuts, and chocolate. Mm, and the chocolate e, but yes, I, I can get the toffee and the nuts. It's also 7.4% uh, alcohol by volume. So that was really good. Uh, we'll do a palate cleanser here. I am opening the Weichen Stefana Hefe Weißbier Dunkel. I hope my pronunciation gets better with time.
Well, I can see that this beer is a little bit lighter than the Corbinian that we just tried. It has a nice head. Foam is almost white. Ooh, this has a um, kind of like a smoky flavor. It's a little bit sharper uh, than the last one. Not as rich in the uh, malty, um, malty. Uh, kind of aroma like the first one had but this is a very nice very light uh, even though it's kind of dark it tastes like oh yeah and as you, you can tell this is cleared up I don't know if you can tell but it's kind of cleared up. And, uh, I'm tasting a little bit of an aftertaste of um, uh, kind of nutty again, but that could be the roasted uh, wheat or barley, whatever they use. So let's see what the uh, publication says. It uh, talks about the Hefeweizbier Dunkel as impressive with its creamy white foam. And we did see that earlier. A fruity, fresh sweetness and hints of mature bananas harmonized with delicious flavors of roasted malt Got the malt, did not taste the bananas. Sparkling and full, kind of sparkling, yeah. Sparkling and full bodied with a light caramel taste on the first sip. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, whoops. And so, uh, and this one isn't uh, as strong in alcohol as the other one. This one is a 5.3% alcohol by volume. So, a little bit on the lighter side for those who don't want to get too intoxicated too fast. So, all right. Next is the Weihenstefana Crystal Weiss Bia uh, Crystal Clear. Well, if y'all have any comments about this video, I hope uh, you leave some comments in the in the comments section below. And oh, let's not get this too far. Ooh, this is nice. Let's not put my face in there. <laughs> it has a nice, uh, pretty white head. A foam very effervescent very uh, light kind of a fresh smell um, I don't get a hoppy or a malty kind of uh, smell like uh, I've gotten from the others that were kind of malty It's hard to get a, oh, you know what? I forgot to do a palate cleanser, dang it. I might be getting notes carried over from the last beer. Maybe that's what's so hard to give it a clear taste. Sorry about that. Okay. 
Oh yeah, yeah, that helped. It's, it's more of a, to me, it's more of a uh, orange citrus flavor. Very refreshing. It has a, uh, very crisp, uh, kind of, I think, a lot of the uh, Weiss beer have the, um, have this kind of uh, light, airy, kind of summery, fruity effect or, or uh, essence to them. So, so. All right, let's read up on this one. Okay, the Weihenstefana Crystal Weissbier, Crystal Clear, is a golden yellow crystal clear wheat beer. Wheat beer. Yes, I'd have to say that. It has a fresh citrus flavor, harmonies, very well with spicy bana banana notes. I'm sorry, I'm, I just don't taste the banana. Maybe my palate's not that great. Uh, but I do get the um, citrus flavor and the harmonies, I guess. And, um, and it says the fine sparkling gives it a tangy and animated appearance. And as you can tell, it is still foaming, or not foaming, but effervescing. And uh, this one is also 5.4% uh, alcohol by volume. So this would be a good beer uh, during the summer months that are hot and like they are now. Well, that's it. Yes, yes. That's it for uh, today's uh, tasting. Uh, I hope I have offered some Americans a new uh, insight into German beer. I hope I have uh, demonstrated the German beer uh, adequately to the for the uh, German um, natives. And um, we'll talk to you again later. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, uh, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see y'all later. All right. Bye-bye. Or, tschüss.